English 103 Intro to College Writing Session 2. In this session, we want to learn strategies for developing, revising, and editing documents. This is super hard work, so we really need to be teammates and on point to help each other out. Um, so our learning objectives for this particular session are to articulate the significance of plagiarism and how to avoid it, which is going to be our quiz and our discussion, and revise written communication based on feedback. So in session one, you're going to turn in a five paragraph paper. I'm going to give you feedback and then you're going to make those edits, make those comments, um, reach out to me about what it looks like to you and how you intend to navigate it. So plagiarism. The first part we're looking at is just, you know, what is this and why is it wrong and why do we want to be really strong and capable when it comes to plagiarism to make sure we don't um, cross those lines. Um, most of the time, I believe that everyone is working in good faith. And so I recognize that 90% of what constitutes plagiarism in any class I've ever had is students trying. And when you're trying, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you solve that on how to share and how to use other people's work within your own. Um, very rarely is it true plagiarism with evil intent. So we're working on that accidental plagiarism. We're working on understanding how to make sure that doesn't happen. And we're looking for strategies that work for you. Um, not overall ideas that other people may find useful, but what could really work for you? And if you are not feeling like you're finding those, then reach out and ask me some questions and we'll work on the best options for you. So our overall assignment is tackling that session one paper. So I'm giving you feedback and then you are saying, what do I do with it? So let's look at that. What are we doing with, with that? There are a couple of ways that you can approach this. You can um, do track changes in that document. You can ask questions within the pod as you submit it. Um, you can make those changes and I can look for them within your work. You can highlight those changes. There are lots of different ways. Do the one that is comfortable for you. That makes sense for how you want to work. If you feel a little bit stuck, um, reach out. I think track changes is one of the better options. So what does it look like? What on earth does this look like? This is hard work. It is editing. Editing is the toughest work by far. It's very hard to edit our own work and it's also difficult to connect with that other person who edits our work, who has suggestions because it can feel like criticism in a negative way. A critique should be a positive idea where we are offering ideas, where we are finding your strongest voice. But our perception of that is often very, very different. And instead it feels like we're being attacked. It feels like we are being belittled. And I want you to really start thinking about that feeling and that that is not what we're doing and that we don't wanna feel that way. So when those feelings come at you, because they are going to, I want you to say, I knew that was gonna happen. And I want you to push back and say, no, we are having a dialogue as professionals, as adults, and we're finding my strongest voice. So. A couple of points. Feedback is individual, it's a dialogue, and it's hard work. Um, so let's look at each of those in succession. So it's individual. Um, each of you is going to come with different talents, different skills, different ideas on what writing is based on your experiences, and that's great. No one in this class should know how to do all of this. That's why you're taking the course. Every course should feel like that. That's hard work, it's challenging, but at the same time, that's why we take them. Not because we know all of that, but because we don't. So my approach is to correct the first or second of an issue and let you find the rest. So I wanna point out, for instance, that you're not using commas appropriately. And I want to give you a couple of ways to do that correctly. And I wanna give you the terminology to find resources, I wanna give you resources, I want you to read up on that and understand it. And then I want you to go through and say, okay, there were two that she marked. These are the solutions. This is how I can fix the other four because I don't want my voice and my approach to sort of cloud your voice. Um, the same way we each have different ways of talking. I tend to use my hands a lot. Um, I use facial expressions in a certain way that fit me. I want that to happen for you. I want that to come across. Um, things like punctuation are doing that. They are giving our tone of voice. They are giving those gestures and those movements and that body language. So we are searching for your voice, not mine. It's a dialogue. Sometimes they're just technical points. Every sentence has to end. Commas fit in certain ways. The thesaurus isn't always our friend. Um, it may not give us the best word choice that we want to use. But how you approach that and what you want to do with that, how you want to solve it, 
is really individual. And so I'm going to give you solutions. I'm going to give you resources. I'm going to help you navigate that so that you find the resources that you like the most. You get to decide what that end product should look like. The most important thing with all of this, the reason I'm stressing it, is because no parrots are needed. Um, if we're not careful when we edit, we give our solutions and our voice to each person. And that can result in a lot of parent parroting and you're using my style. Um, that doesn't help later when you don't have me in the class. Um, then you don't know what solution to use because you're not me. I want you in the end to feel stronger, surer, and more capable. And so we're looking for your solutions and your approach. Feedback is hard work. It's not always going to be right the first time. I'm going to try to be clear. I'm going to try to be focused. I'm not always going to succeed. And so I need you to do your side of that, which is to say, I didn't get it. I need help to raise a question. Remember, questions do not have to be perfect. They do not have to be great. Um, you are not supposed to be familiar with all of this material. You are not supposed to know all of these terms. Instead, you're supposed to say, question mark, and then I find that and provide it and support you. Um, don't ever feel like you can't ask because you just feel puzzled, overwhelmed, confused. Um, that's the great time to just say, and that question, question mark, what's going on here? And then I find that for you. Some of my favorite resources, just to get you started, are things like the APA Style Guide. My other favorite resource is the Chicago Manual of Style because it is massive and they cover every reasoning for why um, we do things with different styles and formatting. I like to look in that because then it helps me say, oh, that's the reasoning or that's the thinking. Um, and then I can go to AP and say, oh, okay, that's where they did it the same way or a different way. Look for things like the Pocket Key for Writers, um, the Bedford Handbook. These are both in 103 and 106. Um, a great book across the ages. It's been there for decades. Um, Strunk and White's Elements of Style. It's a great one to read. Um, find a used copy. Um, find websites that really help you. I always have the Purdue Owl open. I'm always looking at it. I'm going to give you a lot of links because I feel like they do a really good job of sharing the details. So look for that. They're going to not just help you with APA, but with other formatting styles and with things like resumes. Reach out to them. Find those resources. Um, citations are not easy, so I love to use citation machines. So my favorite two are fibme.org and citationmachine.net. You can create a free account and save those. Um, otherwise, you can just use them as is. Make sure you have ads enabled. That's how they make their money, and then they help us, so I can't complain. <laughs> so reach out to those kinds of things. Find what works, find what works for you and have them bookmarked. Um, the other point that I always bring up is communication. Um, we are on opposite sides of the fence until we start talking to each other and share insights. So I can't help unless I know there's a problem. Um, I'm striving to do well, to encourage, to engage, but when I miss the mark, because I'm human and I will, um, I need you to point that out to me and help me. So have a great time revising and editing and enjoy the hard work.